week of my life vlog. Wow. What a day today has been, but Macy just got back from New York. It's because, I mean, I wear this all the time. We have a uniform for my house. My free people shirt that's bleached, or I spilled bleach on. Obsessed, obsessed. Guys, uh, it's Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday, and then I had the whole thing today, but this morning I woke up and I went to a needlepoint class with my grandmother, and let me show you what I'm working on. Oh, I have a good TikTok that I need to edit. Remind me of that. Okay. It's gonna be like, when I wanted chaos, or no, just kidding about wanting chaos. It's Tuesday at 10 a.m. and I'm at a beautiful class with my girl. No, like, chaos is I'm like laughing, but like I'm gonna cry. No, Kenzie's having a hard day. No, it's just, I wanna see not, it's just like, whatever. Anyways, um, we have this needle point. Look at how perfect, I did that up there, as you guys can see. And I want this to be on a pillow, and I understand that like, the reality, like this is a very easy needle point thing, right? Compared to like what the other women were doing, it was like a bunch of other people similar in age to my grandmother. And I was talking, and like normally, I would just be like really talkative. Like that is my ideal demographic. Like a woman over 60, like, oh my God, I love that. I love hearing about their lives. I love everything about it. I'm just like not having a good day. So we didn't talk to them that much, but there's just one woman next to my grandma who was so fabulous. And like, that is who I'm gonna be obsessed with. And we're gonna regularly do these classes. Anyways, all I have to say, their needlepoint stuff was very advanced. And I'm like, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to finish this by Christmas because I'm gonna have to go back in and like get all the other stuff with the colors. But I'm gonna try to do as much of the like, I actually did natural white, not white. See, this is what my YouTube channel has become. Like this is why people don't watch my YouTube because like I'm sitting here for two minutes talking about needlepoint. <laughs> you know what I mean? I went to at home after needlepoint and I got the cutest trigger wedding Christmas. Christmas tabletop, but I'm gonna go get more. But like, look at how cute it is. I need so many more just to have forever. It does give me friend of mine vibes. It's just perfect. Good morning, y'all. Oh, um, it is Wednesday. I just made my coffee. I'm about to take Coco to her appointment. It's now October and the weather is dropping a little bit. And I just am like, I don't know. I just have been in a like weird funk. I feel like I've just been kind of in like a weird mood the past like month or two, just like wanting something new in my life, like maybe being bored. I don't know how to describe it. Like, you know when you're just like in a weird phase and you kind of feel like numb to everything almost, like it sounds really depressing. I thought it was my PMDD, which has really been acting up. I'm like going back on meds and figuring it all out, but I don't know, I've just been in like a weird place lately and I'm starting to stress out because I'm like, this is my favorite time of the year and I just thought it was gonna go away and I'd be happy and I feel like I'm getting in like a better spot. I was on the phone with Dog for like two hours and that really helped, but yeah, I don't know. If you guys are in a weird mood, I see you. I get it, I just like, there's something, it's not good, it's not fun, okay? I'm gonna talk more about this on the podcast and just like, I don't know, we'll go into it there. But I made coffee, I'm about to take Coco to an appointment, I actually have therapy today, which I took a break from. Um, I have a happy hour thing today for the family place, which is the organization that I work with that helps the victims of family violence or domestic violence. And it's for like a bunch of Dallas people to like see how they can get involved and whatnot. So hopefully lots of people come to that. I keep ordering from a friend of mine. Well, I've done it, this is my second time. I'm being dramatic. But because I wanna see what the customer experience is like. So we're gonna do a little friend of mine unboxing. Here we go. I don't know why I ordered this one recipe book and not cocktail napkins. Oh, I did that separately. Look at how cute. Here's the recipe journal. I just keep giving these to people. I wish I was gonna have enough to give because I'm hosting a dinner party tomorrow night, which is gonna be so much fun. I decided we're gonna do like quarter four vision boards. So that's gonna be good. Um, I wish I had enough to give to everyone that's coming tomorrow, but I don't. Unless some of them already have them. I'll figure that out. But this is my recipe journal and the friend of mine cards. And then this, which I love these cards. So fun. Um, and I'm shooting the product that we have. I don't know when I'm gonna say what it is. I'm shooting that product Monday and I'm very excited about it. And I'm already working on like, the second one of it. I'm gonna have all of it done besides I'm like finalizing the design and then it'll go into sampling. But I'm very excited. If you guys don't know, a friend of mine is my brand. It is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's like a Nancy Myers meets Martha Stewart meets like Gen Z, Kenzie Elizabeth kind of vibe. Like was a lot of it is like hosting. We'll expand into other categories. This recipe journal, I'm just saying for the holidays, is the best gift for anyone, especially if you want it to be like a family like heirloom type thing where you like pass it down. 
but it's just such a good gift. And I would get them now because I don't even think, I don't know if we're gonna even have any for sale by the time like December rolls around, just depending on our inventory. We are like way more than halfway through inventory and I ordered a lot more than I thought I would need. So I would get them now if I were you. Anyways, I have my coffee. I haven't even been drinking my Califia Farms. Isn't that you know my anxiety isn't bad? Haven't even been having my Califia, Califia Farms. Califia Farms. Um, because I've been so anxious, I haven't been drinking coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, as if this week couldn't get worse. Let's see what Fitz got up to. A little emergency room trip. This is his hotspot he already had last week that we've already taken care of. This is charcoal because someone decided to get into chocolate chip cookies. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? So now he has to go to the happy hour with me and I'm late. And we spent the whole afternoon at the ER. Poor dude, he's totally fine though, so. You know, he's, he has, we've had better times. That, oh, okay, maybe, maybe not on my white hoodie. Thank you, thank you. Happy Thursday. So today is dinner party day. Yesterday ended up being a shit show. Fitz is currently covered in charcoal and I've tried to get it out. Thank God he's getting groomed today. So it's worked out. He's fine. I never leave things out on my counter, but also he never gets into anything. Like he's such a good dog. So I wouldn't even have thought if I left something out on the counter, he would have gotten into it. Um, and Jess had made us cookies and it was like chocolate chip chocolate cookies or something. Um, I don't even know how much he had. We took him to the ER as you guys know and every, it was fine. He was totally okay. But it was just something. The, the first half of this week, not my week. Second half of this week, really gonna be my week because we have the dinner party today and that's gonna take all day to prep for. I've got a lot of stuff going. And then tomorrow I'm going um, riding with my manager and then we're supposed to be going to the state fair tomorrow night. Saturday I have PBR which I am so excited about. It's professional bull riding. If you guys didn't know, I'm going with Kate Davis, who I love Kate Davis. I'm so excited to finally meet her. Her husband, Cooper Davis, is a bull rider, um, and she has this brand, First Class Cowboys, that is so cute. So we're going with them, they're doing like a pop-up, and then we have like a whole thing, and I'm really excited. Oh my God, I ordered outfits and they haven't come in. I don't know, I'll have to figure that one out. It is just coming together. This is actually kind of like my ideal dream week. Everything's coming together, the weather's dropping, it's only 68 degrees right now, and it, it rained like crazy last night, so the dogs were like in my arms freaking out all night. But anyways, I'm off to get my Thursday blowout, and then I have a lot of errands to run this morning. I need to go to the car wash, I need to go to Trader Joe's, which is where I shop for dinner parties, it's cheaper, and I can get wild. Like, I like the flowers there better. I need to go to CVS for other stuff because we're gonna make quarter four vision boards. And then I need to also go to at home because I need to get more bowls for pasta. And then hopefully I can get more of those like Christmas tabletop things. So last night I literally laid in bed and I watched a podcast and I needle pointed. So yeah, like I feel like I, this is the PSA. I know I said I went a lot of chaos in my life in my 26th year. It's already October and like I've had enough as is. Like I can't do it anymore. Like something happened. I, I meant chaos in my life, not chaos in like my personal life. Like in that I need stability, okay? So I feel like I wasn't clear enough. I wanted chaos in like my fun social life, not serious, not chaos and things that actually matter to me. You know what I mean? So we're done with chaos, chaotic, Year, canceled no longer actually I don't know I kind of do want to come back to it I'm thinking now that this has happened I'm like maybe I'll just be like more chaotic than ever I don't know we'll see just got my car washed and my hair done now we're off to Trader Joe's and to run a couple errands I'm trying to get this done as fast as possible here's my hair it's already falling because it's so humid if I wasn't already buying so much stuff I would be getting pumpkins today <gasps> wow this is so exciting. These are so creepy, like, ew. Um, but I feel like I need pumpkins. I just don't have time, or I don't have room today. I'm gonna have too much stuff. So many. Got so much stuff. Oh my God. So much food. Oh my God. And I had to make another DoorDash order from Sprouts for short rib and a couple other things. Wow. Back at my favorite store. These just to see. All right, we're out. Last errand, finally. Getting stuff to make our vision boards.
All right, guys, so I've been in the kitchen all day. Um, I have Cooper here, which is Jess's dog right now. This is our little tablescape. I need to take this candle away. For inside, I need to get the utensils out. And then we also have one for outside. The thing is, it's either nine people coming or 11. So I don't have my exact correct like amount yet, but I made these floral arrangements as y'all saw. They're super cozy. Look at how cute. It looks so cute, so simple, amazing. Happy Friday. So the dinner party last night was great. We just hung out. We sat outside in my pool right now. Looks so gross. It's literally like green out of nowhere. It was perfectly clean. And then we had a really bad storm and I need to like get under it and do the filter thing. Anyways, um, I'm going to the ranch today to go riding. My manager and I are going. Like I said, this week isn't really weird. I've also had like such low energy levels. Like I've canceled two workouts and like I couldn't even tell you the last time I can't, I, I canceled like one workout a year. Like I never ever cancel. So I just like wanted to lay in bed in order to play and um, watch the Kardashians. So that is what I did. I loved the episode. I feel like I've just been in a weird funk. I don't know. I can't remember what I said to the vlog and what I said to my friends and what I said on the podcast and everything, but I just feel like I've been in a weird funk and then I just had a really bad week. Like so many, everything that could go wrong, basically so many different things have gone wrong. Even to the point where like my neighbors last night, there are people parked on the street. We have people over, everyone parks on the street. It's like not that big of a deal. And I wasn't out there when this happened, but like one of them came out and started yelling at Jess and was like, you guys are blocking, which like my neighborhood, the streets are weird and like, by the way, things are blocked on streets all the time and I just drive to the next one and go around and it happens literally all the time. And I, when I went out there, I don't know if I just like didn't see what they were talking about, but like no one was even blocked, I don't know. They were like screaming and then um, just like they were just so rude. And then they were like, your neighbor who hasn't even introduced herself to anyone on the street. And I'm like, first off, like I have introduced myself to people on the street. Like I also am like, like 26, everyone who lives in my neighbor, I don't know why I'm like telling you guys my neighbor drama, but like everyone who lives in my neighborhood, they're like, their kids are like in college. Like there's no young kids. There's there's a very big age gap, right? Like I, I just like already feel awkward. And then when, I, I don't know, I just had like weird experiences. Okay, so anyways, I've always, if I see a neighbor, I'm always like, hi, like introduce myself, whatever. I met like three of them, but a lot of them just like aren't out. And then one of my neighbors told me that like two of the people or like one of the houses, someone they don't live there during the summer. I don't know, I don't know. And whatever, maybe I should have been trying harder, but also like I, they're, they weren't outside. I'm like, I just feel like, are we still in an age where you like go over and bring cookies? And also mind you, they haven't introduced themselves to me either. So I'm like, what? Anyways, he was so rude and yelling. And I'm like, see, normally I'd be able to handle that and just be like, hey, like what's going on? Like I'm pretty good at like those kinds of situations because I grew up in a very like reactive household. Anyways, I literally was like, I'm gonna lose my mind. Like I, I'm gonna lose my mind. I do feel like I'm like getting, coming back to, like I was just saying, I've been feeling very, almost like, I don't know if not myself is the right way. I just feel like I've been in a weird kind of funk the past like couple months, but I had other things going on. So it was distracting me. And now I'm like, wait, no, I actually do kind of feel that way. So anyways, with that being said, I watched Kardashians this morning when Kim Kardashian goes to Harvard and something about that really inspired me and made me feel better. I feel like every other vlog I come on, I'm like, I make sure this or blah, blah, blah. I just feel like 
it's annoying of me. But the other thing is that like I just feel like it's so normal in your 20s to like have these weeks where I've just been feeling like very lost and confused and like things are just like not going my way and like people are being mean and just like whatever. And that happens and it's normal and I get it. I really, really, really do get it. Um, maybe I'll record a podcast episode like at this point I really might so anyways I'm getting dressed right now I'm gonna wear Abercrombie jeans this top it's 70 so I can wear this is from Abercrombie also it's my favorite top and I also have it in the bodysuit which I like the bodysuit better I will link these they are literally my favorite things ever I also we were here to the fair tonight but it's like Red River weekend and I feel like that's just like the worst time to go to the fair ever it's gonna be too crazy and I'm going to PBR tomorrow so I I feel like I'm just gonna have some family over and we're gonna like cook or something. I don't know, we'll see. And just chill and relax. So I'm gonna change and show you guys my outfit. Okay, I'm gonna do my makeup, but I mean, barely any makeup. This is my look and my hat is from a friend of mine. These are dropping very soon actually. Um, we're shooting some stuff on Monday, which I also really need to finalize today. Honestly, I just need to like stay in and work tonight, I think. That's what's gonna happen. But anyways, this is the look. My Annie is my favorite cowboy boots ever. Could do an entire YouTube video on cowboy boots. I feel like that's not really like a YouTube vibe, maybe TikTok, I don't know, but um, I love it. I also have my Find Me in Texas hat that I love. This hat kind of looks better. Mm. No, it's like too casual. Camo, this is merch of mine, find me in Texas. It's really sick. It's on the Dear Media shop merch page, it's linked below. So anyways, I'm gonna go get ready. Hi, can I just get a sausage cheddar and egg sandwich? Sausage, cheddar, egg sandwich, of course. Anything else for you today? Yeah, and then a grande pumpkin cream cold brew, please. And then a grande pumpkin cream cold brew, of course. Anything else for you today? That's it. 1028, thank you. Thank you. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday. Um, we're not gonna vlog the PBR for the vlog, but we are gonna film a get ready with me And then we're gonna vlog the rest on TikTok. Macy's coming over in like an hour and we're gonna get ready I'm very excited. The PBR is professional bull riding if you didn't know. So yesterday I went to the ranch We went riding and I had guys like just the irony of everything this week I had a horrible allergic reaction. It went down by like 5 p.m. Probably but like this has been happening to me lately on the ranch that I just get like my face puffs up and like I had like a line here that was just like puffed so painful um and then I worked and then Macy and I watched the Beckham documentary we watched like the first like episode and a half we really liked it and now we're going to the PBR and we've decided that today is gonna be such a good day oh that's Macy <laughs> She's just crazy. Okay, I'm getting my, my coffee. I don't know when I became like a Starbucks girl again. I just because I've had the weirdest week of my life. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I have um, points, I think, too. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Can I get a straw as well? Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. It's time to get ready. Macy was supposed to film and get ready with me, but she just called me and she just got out of the shower. And so, anyways, we need to be on time and I'm getting ready right now. I'm wearing a very simple outfit, y'all will see. Honestly, I don't even know what to say in this get ready with me because I'm like, was gonna talk to Macy. But, um, I guess we'll talk about a couple things that I wanna do for a friend of mine because I've just been thinking about like the staples of my life and things that I like really need. I've decided what we're talking about today. Disappointment in your 20s and friend of mine so things that i want to do i've mentioned this before but i really really want to do like a dinner party tour which is going to take a lot of planning and a lot of work uh, around texas or just like random cities to where i can host dinner parties for y'all and you guys like buy a ticket and then it kind of serves like as a pop-up but obviously it's a little bit different you know so i'm excited about that stuff i really want to do robes i want to do more kitchen stuff. Um, the thing that I'm shooting next week that I'm sure I'll share with y'all soon is 
I'm like so confident in this. Like I just feel like it's like the best thing that I could do like product wise and I'm really excited for it. It's something that I actually want you guys to comment below. It's something that I bring with me to dinners all the time and it's like something that I play with friends and my friends, I have other products of it from like other brands and my friends are always like, please bring that to dinner because we just love playing these like games, if you will. Um, we love them. So I feel like after that you guys will understand, but anyways, I feel like I'm kind of coming out of this weird funk. Like yesterday when I went to the ranches with my manager and I was talking and I was like, I just feel like, like your twenties are obviously like so turbulent and up and down. And like, there's not a lot of stability in it, which I feel like I used to hate. And then I started to love and I was like, it's fun. But I feel like when I start to hate it is when I like, I'm really like let down in a certain area of my life like not even like let down but like Something hurts me and I'm like god like I just want the stability as if like I'll never be hurt again in life But like someone just like I don't know like you you think something good is happening or you think like a job wants to come or you think like Whatever it is fill in the blank, you know Um, and sometimes I just like get really down which is so dumb and like I hate that I do that because it's like there's so many other amazing things going on in my life and I'm like the most I'm not the luckiest girl ever, so I feel annoying, but then at the same time, it's like, you actually need to be able to, like, feel a certain way. Like, I've been telling my friends, I'm like, give me, like, three days and I won't care anymore. And they're like, it's okay, though. Like, if, like, it's not three days and you still care, like, you're allowed to do that, but I'm just so, like, I'm, like, an efficient person. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I want to, like, not be bothered by things. And that's, like, why it's hard for me to let, like, people in my life, not, like, friends. I feel like I have, like, the best friends in the world, but, like, it's hard for me to look like people in my life because I don't like when people can like affect my emotions if that makes any sense, which isn't great. And obviously I have to like work on that, but yeah, I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot about like disappointment and how like every single time in the past I've been disappointed or let down or like hurt by someone or whatever. I always say this, like there's not a relationship in my life in any capacity that I no longer have that I wish I did, you know, like, I always end up being like, thank God. Like that was not, it, it doesn't even mean like that person or that situation or that work thing or like whatever opportunity it was. It doesn't even mean that like it was necessarily bad. It's just like, you look back like kind of times 2020 and you always end up looking back and you're like, well, like thank God, you know what I mean? Like, I'm actually so glad that didn't happen because now I see why it didn't happen because this needed to happen, like whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm just like thinking that way, but also, I'm like, it is okay because I'm so like, I don't know, because I love like, I think like self-development and like therapy and all these things. Um, and just like trying to be like a really, like as healthy as I can possibly be. I feel like sometimes I like discredit my own emotions or I discredit like, it's okay sometimes to feel even though it looks like you have everything that you want. Like it's okay to just be down sometimes. It is okay, you know what I mean? And I think sometimes I'll be feeling that way. And also I have PMDD and that's been like pretty bad lately, but I'll be feeling that way and I don't like allow myself to feel that way, if that makes any sense. Also I got this, um, what is this? Who is it like, like prism? Well, I don't even know what it's called. I don't know, whatever, uh, on accident. I think I like had it in my cart and then I like forgot to take it out of my cart and everyone's like, oh, everyone's like, it's the, okay, so I'm not supposed to apply it that way. Everyone's saying it's like the best powder ever. And I really do like it, but I'm just noticing that I have no idea what I'm doing. I might wear fake eyelashes today. I might as well because like if I'm going to Kate's thing, you know, it's like her eyelashes anyways. I only wear rain lashes, but I feel like lashes for 12 hours is a lot, but it also makes you look like you got your makeup done. So maybe I'll do that. They're the only ones that I can do. The only issue is that I have to cut them and I hate cutting lashes. So we'll see. Hmm. But I was leaving yesterday um, and I was just like, I don't know. I just feel like I'm in like this weird rut and like blah, 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 whatever. And obviously like it's pretty dramatic for no reason, you know, whatever. Um, and then I left and I got like the coolest email ever. And I was like, see, like good things are like always right around the corner. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I always am like thinking of like, Hopefully like when I'm like 30, 31 and I feel like I have like more stability in my life, I'll be like, oh my God, like that was like so dumb. You know what I mean? Like, it's like anytime you're upset over like an ex-boyfriend or something, like later you're like, oh my God, that's embarrassing. Like that kind of vibe. And I, I try to channel that in like every area of my life where I'm like disappointed. I'm like, no, like trust me, I'm gonna be happy about it one day. 
and that day is probably going to be sooner than not. And I also feel like I'm already at that point, but I don't know. It just sucks. Like when you're like excited about something or when you like take a chance on something or whatever. And then it's not that. So I'm going to finish doing my makeup because I feel like I just keep rambling on. But I'm excited for next week's vlog because I'm going to Memphis and I'm going through this thing called Country Cares, which if you guys follow me on Instagram at this point, I'm sure you've seen. Um, it was like a really big honor. It's with St. Jude. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know anyone who's going on the trip at all. So it'll be like a good um, experience. I feel like a lot of the time when I do things like this that are like really outside my comfort zone, it ends up being like a really like monumental week almost to where I feel like I just get like new like clarity or like direction or something. And then maybe I can use, I can just like do better things in the world. My sister's calling me. I gotta go. Bye. I finished getting ready. I wanted to do um, my fake lashes, but couldn't find my lash glue. So this is the makeup look. Also, can someone explain to me why my left eye always looks worse? Like the mascara just like doesn't work as well and it drives me crazy. I'm sure it's something that like no one else notices, but I notice, okay? So I obviously use my setting spray. I feel like I'm just constantly spraying this thing. Um, also, I've been wearing this Saint Laurent perfume and I got a lot of compliments on it. What even is it? I don't know, like Libre? I'm not sure, but it smells really good. And I get a ton of compliments. You know what else is amazing? This is my second one. I'm already down on it anymore. The Kapari Golden Aura Body Oil. This is amazing. There's nothing I've ever put on my body that has made it, that is just actually even compared to this. It's so glowy and it's so moisturizing by not being too oily and it doesn't make you look greasy. Like it is just... I don't know what they did here, but it's amazing. If you need any body oil or anything, like this is my holy grail probably for the rest of my life. I'm not kidding, so I'll link that below too. It's unreal. Okay, so this is my outfit. It's cute. I feel like the belt, I like the belt with it, but it kind of like messes up with the vest. My boots are Lucchese. I need to put like my body oil on and then I'm pretty much good to go. I'm like out the door. I need to add my earrings that are in one of my purses. Why does it look like I'm crying? I feel like it always looks like that when I'm in this room, but anyways, I just like can't decide because I feel like the belt, it just like doesn't work, but then what if like throughout the day this gets loose? You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I can fit it in my purse if I really want to. Hopefully that'll work. Okay, we are off. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. There's gonna be a lot more content on TikTok and next week the vlog will be better and I'll be in a better mood. I love y'all and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I feel like people who came in during that time had a very different idea of who I was and it wasn't necessarily that I was being fake online at all actually I just like I was actually sharing like what was going on in my life at that point it was just like a different period of time and I couldn't share a lot of other things anyways with that being said um I just wanted to share with you guys the story of how I got the nickname Delilah in Bible college